Well, today we got uh, <clears throat> manhandled by a very good wrestling team. Um, I don't think there's any way to, to <clears throat> spin it any other way than that. And, you know, I think the fortunate thing about, <clears throat> excuse me, the fortunate thing about wrestling a great team is, is you really, really get exposed and you really know what you got to go to work on. So uh, up and down the lineup, I mean, they've got some super solid guys. I mean, I think if you look at the difference between that and here this year, you put a camera in there, you know, that kind of quality of guys, um, and it makes a big difference. Uh, and so, um, you know, I, I, I take my hat off to our guys in terms of fight. You know, we have to keep getting better wrestling, but I thought that our fight was pretty good in some places. Um, you know, we lost a match or two that could have went either way. Uh, one was an overtime and one was a kind of a goofy call situation, but, uh, you know, so on, on paper it could have been a, a much closer score, but you know, I think there were some competitive matches. I know, you know, if you, if, you, if, you, if you measure where we were two years ago versus today, it's quite a different uh, uh, situation, but, um, you know, it's, I'm glad it's November, what, 23rd, and we've got a while to keep getting better, and so we just challenged the guys. I said, you know, I'm not going to scream and yell at anybody. Um, we just got beat by a better team today, but... We're going to get together at noon tomorrow, and we got to keep building. And then we're going to get together a couple times on Tuesday, and we got to keep building. And then we're going to give them a couple days off uh, to go see Grandma and Grandpa and eat turkey, hopefully not too much, and then we'll uh, get back together. And, you know, we've got a great opportunity to go to Las Vegas and wrestle in what is one of the tough, probably the toughest, you know, regular season tournament right now in Division One wrestling. And so um, I, I've turned the page. I'm... I'm really looking forward to seeing how we, we, we regroup. It's easy to bring a team in and train a team after a big win. Um, it's not as easy to bring a team in um, and, and train as after a loss, but you learn a lot about them. So, you know, I'm curious to see what they look like tomorrow, how rested they are, how much they weigh, how much they don't weigh. And uh, if, but I think we've got a lot of, I think we got a lot of character and I think we got a lot of guys that, uh, that wrestling is really important to right now. And, and those teams improved pretty fast. You referenced it a little bit there, but what did you see in the Jarrett Dagan match, especially in that end sequence? Well, we went from, you know, uh, I guess you know, they got in a scramble there, and Jarrett thought that the referee gave a reversal, so in his, uh, you know, continuing to wrestle, he, he locked his hands, uh, but the referee did not give a reversal, and so it became a locked hands before he whipped the guy to his back. Uh, my, argue, two, my two arguments, my first argument was is that you know, if you take a guy from, from, from his whatever position to his back, shouldn't it be, uh, you know, shouldn't we get the back points? But in looking at it, they saw the locked hands first. And so, you know, action stops right there and you start over when you get it all figured out. I felt like we had a, I do feel like we had a, a, a danger call at the end there. And that's why I threw the brick in because I thought we had a danger call and there was a three count and that would have given us two takedown and that would have won the match. So um, that's the story there. How much did that result sort of not kill your team spirit that perhaps you wanted? For the no, race? I don't think it was. I mean, I think Chase Straw went out and wrestled, uh, you know, wrestled uh, real tough at 65, and obviously it didn't bother David Carr much, <clears throat> you know. I mean, I think Caleb Young's one of the best guys in the nation, and, um, and I was really impressed with him, and, and I knew watching, the, watching him and getting ready for this match, I was like, David Carr's got a, he's got stud. Like, we got to be ready to go. I mean, that kid's good. He's gonna be right in there. Like uh, he could go with anybody in the nation, right there. I think he's one of the best guys out. Um, so I don't think it affected us. You know, I think up and down the line, we uh, there wasn't many places I could say we put our head down, and, and that's uh, you know something we evaluate. What kind of statement did David Carr make? You know, the, I think the most impressive thing about David was the was the presence at the end. You know, here he is, and he's uh, you know let's face it, he's got a little different pressure on him because of everything he's done. And, uh, you know, he was just hungry at the end to get that last takedown. You know, when he locked that cradle up, and that's a dicey situation. You get the points, but if you, um, all of us old wrestling experts, when you get in there and you start driving that thing too fast, it can go south really fast. It can go from, well, maybe I'm getting a pin to a, uh, I'm getting reversed for five. I've seen many guys getting that hold and it go the other way. So to have the presence to keep that thing under control and not force it and, and uh, kind of baby it along was really good. But, you know, just the... Uh, like, I'm going to go win this match uh, mentality at the end uh, because Young's a tough customer. At 84, Colbert rode <clears throat> Nelson pretty tough, but then in tiebreakers, he let him up with the 32nd. What went into that decision? That's probably, you got to put that one on the coach because we went, we talked in the, in the nosebleed time out there, and I just kind of asked him what he wanted to do, and I sensed that his first reaction was to start on his feet. Um, and 
you know, sometimes in practice, I see Sam just kind of hang on to ride in, in those situations. And so I had a little bit of a uh, deja vu and that I just didn't want him to hang on and get reversed at the end. I'd rather go out swinging. And so we decided to go out swinging and we didn't connect. Uh, we didn't get the takedown. So that's probably a little bit on me, but uh, I really felt like he'd get a takedown there at the end. Uh, but hats off to them for that. At 41, how gritty of a win was that for you and partner to to get that takedown and, and sudden sudden victory? At really point? gritty because you know a lot of times you know we don't we don't tell everything that's going on. But uh, he's been banged up a little bit and uh, hasn't been able to train nearly at the capacity he can train at, and that that's a high capacity. And so uh, for him to to figure out how to win there and to do what he did, um, um, you know he's getting better. But he, we've had an injury that we've had to. Um, sit on and do nothing and so when you don't get those reps and that mat time in for you know a couple weeks um you know he was he's he, he was kind of questionable even this week so he was kind of a game time decision so we knew that uh, you know we knew he's going to have to do it the ian parker way just suck it up and be tough how electric was the atmosphere I had top 10 attendance for this uh, for any match here at hilton and most since 1999 Great, yeah, I think it was great. You know, thank you, Cyclone Nation, for coming out. Um, I, you know, I think we did this two years ago, and there was a lot more black and gold, and there was cardinal and gold, and we we, we won that war today. And so, you know, we're making progress. This thing's going in the right direction. Uh, we just got beat by a really damn good team today. And uh, do we think that could change if we wrestled in uh, uh, January, February? Yeah, because I think these guys can improve, and I think we got some guys that are. Uh, really, really ready to continue working towards that. So, now, earlier in the week, you talked about the importance of getting those bonus points victories. What was the mood kind of like after the duel started off with a tech fall for Lee and a major decision for DeSanto? You know, the thing about Spencer Lee is, uh, you know, when he shows up and there's a, it's a big pressure situation. He figures how to deliver, and he did today again, obviously. And um, you know, DeSanto's got a great, great pace, and I mean, they got to up and down that lineup. Like I said. He, if you're a Hawkeye fan and you've been watching lineups for a long time, you're gonna have a hard time finding a better one than that because uh, they got some firepower. DeSanto wrestles at a high pace, and if you're gonna want to beat DeSanto, you're gonna have to slug it out for seven minutes. Anything else for Coach? Thanks for coming out. Thanks.